let's i have already you know given a, a brief introduction of uh, about the two false and not given question one point i want to reiterate here i i mentioned this point earlier uh, in some of the lectures i don't remember was it in the beginning or somewhere i told you that if you already know something if you already know something then please use that information for your understanding of the passage but don't use that information to answer the questions i repeat it again that if you already know something you know already have some information some knowledge about the topic that is being discussed in the passage you already know something about that please use that information for your better understanding but please don't use that information to answer the questions like if you know about the industrialization history please use that information to get a better understanding of our passage but please don't use this information uh, to answer now i gave you one example and i'm repeating that example to you like uh -huh. 1857 and even took that was a war or kind of a mutiny right 1906 muslim league a uh, political party for muslims was created in 1916 let's say or 17 or 18 maybe um our leader joined this party 19 mm 40 let's say 44 45 or like this that to jump to 1947 Oh, you know, I don't. Nineteen forty-four. Let's say. Well, that's a minute. I will skip. Okay, two, sure, two, and it. Now, if uh, this is, let's say, this information is given to you in the in the passage. Okay, I have given only a summary, and now there's a question, and and that that is a true false question, and in that. it is written pakistan was created in 1947 is it true false or not given not given this is not given although being a pakistani you know that pakistan was created in 1947 you already know this information please use you know this this all information or whatever you know about pakistan's history you use that information for your better understanding but don't use that information to answer the questions got it yes sir okay so now the last sentence talks about the same point you are being tested on your ability to understand the information you read in the passage so you should ignore anything you already know about the topic while answering actually Clear? Okay. Before I I, I move, actually, read the first question statement, and while keeping, you know, we already know that, and uh, if you know, it is written the same thing. If the passage confirms the statement, the answer is true. If the passage does not confirm the statement, check whether it negates the information, and so so on. If it neither confirms nor negates. then it means not negates it means it is not given we have talked on that now this is this is the uh, you know passage that i requested you guys to please read through i'm not sure if you have read it or not have you yes sir okay you yes. read it right so now there are three questions and you have to tell me <laughs> uh oh after <laughs> one okay now you have to tell me that whether these are true false or not given these questions are have been asked up till you know from from this portion only 
Luke Howard invented the term urban heat island. False. Mm -hmm. Not given, sir. Mm -hmm. Given. Mm -hmm. Doctor. Not given. Okay, there are three not given, one false, right? And that one false is actually correct, and three not given are incorrect. Why? Okay. Um, why it is it is false? Well, <clears throat> this sentence says follow that three-step procedure. This sentence says that urban the term urban heat heat island was invented by this person howard but if we read this thing howard noticed this 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 we now refer so this term was not invented by him we now refer this thing so that means this is a term which have been recently invented by us or someone but at least not by Howard. So this information, this information is actually negating this thing. It is contradictory to this thing. So what is it? Is it false or not given? Uh, yeah, still is insisting that given anything. Sorry, sorry. Hello? It is not clear. Yeah, it, it is, is not clear. clear. It is not clear. But mm. this word now actually is indicating that this term was not originally coined by this person, at least. This term is a recent term. We now refer this thing as urban heat islands. But once he discovered this thing, he didn't know or he didn't give it any meaning, actually, uh, any name. It didn't give any name to this thing. We now refer this thing, urban heat line. So this information is being negated or contradicted here. Clear? Yes. Okay, number two. Now, why you guys are so silent? Why you guys have gone, gone so dull? Do you want it <laughs> off or are you confused? Uh -huh. Huh? Confused? Yes, sir. Okay, why? No, just then, then ask me the questions, okay? Just shoot your question. What is your confusion now? Second question, sir. Hmm? So I'm confused in how false, sir. How false? Yes, well, sir. if I say, if let, let just, just forget this, this thing, right? And if I say, okay, uh, in the beginning, uh, people used to uh people used to use a clay what is clay like made of soil and water okay clay gara people used to use clay to protect themselves from sunlight okay people okay, used to uh, uh use clay uh, to protect themselves from sunlight and this okay, thing sir. actually was started by Mr. Phillips, okay, or X Y Z, in 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 thirteen hundred something. In modern times, we call such techniques as uh, sun blocking or sun screening. Yes. Sir. What does it mean now? Was this term? Sun screening, sun blocking, uh, was this created by Mr. Phillips in 1300 or was this term created now, nowadays? Nowadays. Nowadays. So it means it was not invented by Phillips at least. Yes, sir. Got it? So the same thing is being mentioned here. Now clear? Yes, sir. Clear, sir. Okay. Now. City temperatures are higher than country temperatures regardless of the season. Not given. 
information in the passage that confirms this thing okay so it says now if you see the temperatures in the city were gradually become higher okay then in the, in the rural areas now it says that this difference what was the difference that temperature higher and lower right this difference in temperature is usually greater at night fine the temperature are higher than country temperature the first thing regardless of the season and here it says uh, and the phenomena occurs both in winter and summer so that means whatever the season may be this phenomena is there and what is the phenomena is talking about this phenomena that temperatures are higher than country temperatures this phenomena oh, is there no matter what the season may be whether it is winter or summer okay so sir this information has been confirmed by this sentence so i will not go to the next steps i will just write through now one thing i you know i want to give you an example like what kind let's say let's say if it it was let's say if it was false in that case what kind of contradiction we could have found here number 1 city temperatures are higher maybe and in the passage you may find it slower so this is a contradiction or you can say uh, instead of city it should it might be country temperatures are higher than city temperatures maybe so even then it's a contradiction or city temperatures are equal to country temperatures even then it's a contradiction or city temperatures are higher than country temperatures only in summers then this is a contradiction you got it any kind of contradiction that negates this statement that this then 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 it means it is false any doubts no doubts i suppose no doubts so they, but they say that phenomena occurs in in both winter and summer which means that they isolated these two seasons yeah yeah these are two seasons right and this question is regardless of the season yeah regardless of the season no matter if i say no matter if it is winter or is if it is summer this phenomena is yes. there that means regardless of the season this phenomena is there clear now next experts have failed in their efforts to create heat reflecting concrete and brick the not given no this is not going yeah this is very clear <laughs> yeah this is very clear so now let's move forward and see some other questions okay, excuse me sir yeah. you have to go you have to go okay okay please uh, i will i will just uh, i'm stopping recording now and i will send you only this last part that you are going to miss